Welcome back, MTG Joe here, and uh, we're continuing with our M21 deck techs uh, in advance of the early streamer event, which I'll be participating on June 24th. Um, so we'll be playing a bunch of decks, best of one for the uh, event, and um, usually uh, every set I'll release a bunch of decks. Uh, their initial brews, obviously untested, so uh, open to feedback along the way. Um, so what we have here is a Simic blue-green turbo ramp uh, get Ugin out as fast as possible. Um, so the M21 has brought a reprint of one of the most powerful planeswalkers, Ugin the Spirit Dragon. Um, so Ugin is 8 mana, uh, plus 2 deal 3 damage to target creature or player, minus X exile each non-land or each permanent, sorry, uh, with converted mana cost X or less, that's one or more colors. Of note, lands are colorless. Um, so if it's stuff like Nisa, it wouldn't get exiled this way. And then its ultimate is gain 7, draw 7, then put 7 permanents into the battlefield. So the deck is trying to get it out as quick as possible. Uh, there's ways to get it out as early as uh, turn 4 or 5, I believe. 5 for sure. Um, but in practice, what you can do is stuff like Grazer into Uro, into Nisa, into Ugin, um, just by hitting your uh, lands and spells on turn. Um, there's also like Growth Spiral into Solemn, into Ugin, and then into Ugin. Um, so there's some ways around it. So kind of going through the cards itself, uh, three Aboreal Grazers gets to put an extra land into play. We are playing a higher density of lands in this deck. Um, Bonds of Flourishing was something I wanted to try out. So generally these decks, you're going to win the long game uh, just by the nature of your threats being a bit more powerful on the top end. Um, what we wanted to do is bridge to that long game. So Bonds of Flourishing serves a couple purposes. Uh, it gains you life most uh, relevant in the early game. Uh, it also helps you dig for a permanent. So it can help you find a creature, it can help you find the Planeswalker you're missing, but it can also help you find the land. Um, we're putting lands into play with stuff like a Boreal, Grazer, or Uro, but you need to refill your hand as well. Um, Growth Spiral, everybody knows it by now, it's a busted card. Uh, three Hydrate Crisis, three Uros, refills your hand, refills your hand, and puts lines into play. Solemn Simulacrum is a EDH staple, uh, and something I haven't played in Standard. I wasn't around when this was last Standard Legal. Um, but basically what you're trying to do here is uh, fetch a land, and then when it dies, you get to draw a card, so it can help you dig deeper into your top end threats. Um, we're playing one Tamiyo as a way to dig, as well as recur some uh, threats if they die. Uh, three Nisas as a way to double up our mana, and then a couple Ugin, six mana Ugins, serves as removal, card advantage, and of note, it is a cost reduction spell, so it makes uh, Ugin the Spirit Dragon cost two less, uh, Solemn also cost two less. And then we're going to try out one plane wide Celebration. Um, it's a pretty flexible card, we can get ahead on mana, um, we can return stuff from our graveyard, we can proliferate our Ugins or Planeswalkers, or even like our lands if they're animated with the counters, and it can also gain us some life. We're obviously playing four Ugins, that's what the deck is built around. And then just a whole bunch of lands. You got a, uh, all your kind of breeding pools, fetches, your temples. Uh, one of, uh, got some fun ofs. I'm trying one, uh, just any trinome that taps for blue green, really. Um, just a way to kind of cycle if you flood as well. Um, one blast zone is removal, and then two radiant fountains, which is a reprint. Uh, gains you some life as well. Um, obviously it's a little hard when you escape Uro, but for the most part uh, we should be able to cast it because we do have a number of uh, colorless cards in the deck. Um, so really what you're trying to do here, ramp out as fast as possible, Ugin, exile everything they have, and then either have Anissa out in addition to Ugin, or Ugin just kind of take over the game by dealing three damage each time. Um, so that's pretty much the deck. Uh, I'm going to be coming out with a few of these um, quick like five minute deck tech style uh, videos. Um, I do have a bunch of deck lists on my Aether Hub. Might not get to a video for all of them, but if you do want to check it out, they'll all be up there. Um, and if you do have any suggestions for other decks that could be built or um, suggestions on this deck itself, uh, do let me know. Anyways, thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you on the 24th during the early streamer event, and have a great one.